Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 2 Ghost Bears Legacy where we just um, eventually finished our trial to participate in the hunting down of the Draconis Combine troops who slightly stole our genetic information, the jerks. However, as we're not yet proven in frontline combat, we will remain with our dropship, the Justice, to protect our only route of departure from the planet, defend the Justice, and destroy any enemy warriors who may attack. So we need to defend the dropship and destroy all enemy mechs. I imagine both of those will happen at once. Let's take a look at our details here and see what we got. The 72nd Assault Trinary has been dispatched to Chandler within the Draconis Combine, but near Ghost Bear territory, to seek out information regarding the unprovoked attack on Ardoz. While the experienced warriors of our star will be in the field, we will stay behind to protect the dropship. If we fail and the dropship is taken, not only will we be doomed, but we will have destroyed our Trothkin. Our superiors, who have been tried in battle, will venture into the planet to seek out General Gashi Tengwan, leader of the Second Sword of Light, an elite regiment of the Combine's finest warriors. I imagine that'll go well for them. Looks like we can't have any friendos. Do we get our custom direwolf? Yes, we do. Fantastic. What's our intel? General Tengwan heads the Second Sword of Light. He may have information about the mechs which attacked Ardos. Protect the dropship while your comrades search him out. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound hard enough. Let's go ahead and launch. We should have a little bit of time to set up our uh, to set up our weapon groups. Hopefully, it's not like it takes more than five to ten seconds, but. Having to do it at the beginning of every single mission is a little obnoxious. Right now, that's my biggest complaint about MechWarrior 2. Otherwise, I'm absolutely loving this. I mean, I realize that the graphics are pretty crappy, but it's from 1995. What, what, what are you going to ask for? Did the game just crash? No. Okay, good. <laughs> so what do we got? Well, we need to go ahead and set this up. There we go. Group 3, Group 2, Group 2. Have our LRMs selected. This is the Justice here. Okay. Whoa, I need to change my DPI. There we go. Hmm, is the dropship? Whoa. Hello. Yeah, I see him. All I see is the dropship so far. Ah, okay. I gotcha. There's a raven. That's not very scary. We've got a lock. I'm just waiting for an LOS to shoot at him. Come here, you raven. They're actually jumping up there. Oh, hello. Okay. That is a lot of damage coming in. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nice. Ow. Already? I think I was just too close. It's possible. So they've got an atlas here. That's a little extreme. No thanks. Please don't shut down. Okay. There we go. Atlas is down. We're still hitting the Atlas, I think. Trying to leg the Raven. There we go. Nice. What else is there? Oh, we've got a Victor here. Trying to do as much as I can. Even though we've already lost most of our weaponry, we did take off its arms. That's nice. Ow. You need to stop, Victor. Besides, what's a Victor doing in the Draconis Combine? Seriously. Okay. He's trying to lure us away, I think? Hopefully, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay. We've got battle suits. Okay. That's a little weird. Well, good thing we've got small pulse lasers. Those are effective. Yeah, um, can you turn up your mic volume a little bit, maybe? I mean, you've also got the problem that the con had with the reverb, but yeah, just 
Just turn it up a little bit, please. Okay. These battle suits are obnoxious. They're so little. They're so little. Okay, come here. Excellent. Did I step on them? Are they dead? I think they're dead. Did they suicide bomb? Like... I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm also a little confused about how we are consistently losing almost all of our weapons at the very beginning of every time when I spread out the, the weapons so nicely in our criticals. That's a little weird. Is it just bad luck? Maybe. Where? Where? Where are these enemies at? I'm at two kilometers on the radar, and I still don't see them. Friendo seems to think they're over this way, and I tend to believe him. But I still don't see them on radar, even though we apparently detected their power-up. Uh-huh. Is he shooting? There they are. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to shoot at Friendo. Okay, we've got a Victor. 1.6 kilometers out, and they're firing Gauss rifle rounds. Look at that. That's ambitious. <laughs> okay. If he wants to waste his ammo, that's fine. Well, what else do we have over here? Yeah, we have no star mates. I mean, it's kind of impressive how close he's getting with the Gauss rifle this far away. Okay. We should be able to get a lock on and fire. With any luck, that'll do a significant chunk of damage. And it didn't take out his Gauss rifle, I think. Come on, LRMs. I need you. Where you at? There you are. Okay, that did a lot of damage to him. And the PPC hits are coming hard and fast, but he's almost killed us. Okay. Keep our distance. Ow. He took us out with SRMs. What a jerk. So I added that much armor, and we're still dying this easily. Like, I added an extra 10 tons of armor. I almost doubled the armor on this thing. Actually, I think I added more armor than that. But yeah, I like doubled the amount of armor on this at least. That's insane how quickly we're dying and taking huge crits. Well, it's more the crits than anything else, because we're getting like massive ammo explosions. It says we have case. I can't figure out if case is a component we have to add or if it's just default on the chassis in this game or what. And if it's default on the chassis, why are we having so many ammo explosions? That's my next question. But anyway, we just need to stop taking these huge crits. That's the main issue. And actually, I did this wrong. There we go. That's more like it. So yeah, we just need to stop taking these huge crits. I'm not sure why we're getting them, but whatever. Mm-hmm. And there'll be the Raven and the two big guys up there. Enemy power up. What do we got? Enemy power Come on, let me select. So we've got the Raven, and that's... There's the Victor. Okay, let's get a lock on. Can see him through the cliff, even though we're not supposed to be able to. There goes the Raven. Firing. Okay. That's not going to hit, for sure, because he's falling. That's more like it. Nice. Nice. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. Oh. Missed my PPC shots. I'm really mad at myself for that. Okay. There we go. Now we've got the Atlas here. Yeah, please don't shut down. Shut down 
I would prefer it if you didn't shut down. Trying to take out his arms. Uh, we're still shutting down. That really sucked. I didn't get another notification of that, did I? Or did I just miss it? Okay, come on. We gotta take out this atlas. There we go. It's a little bit absurd. Okay. And this raven is actually still alive. But we may be able to kill it. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so that was better. Now we've got the battle suits coming in. Okay. What do you mean I'm not battle hardened anyway? I'm like halfway through this campaign or better. <laughs> I'm not going to bother wasting LRMs on these battle suits. But we'll take a couple PPC pot shots. Oh, a single PPC salvo, and I took out all four of them. I'm okay with that. I will take that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have friendos way out there next. And there's going to be two mechs. And then beyond that, we're not sure. There may or may not be more. But I'd kind of like to hang back and not take all those Gauss rifle hits, ideally. These are not our star mate, unfortunately, so we can't control them. But I'm just going to wait back, th back here and let our friendos pass. Okay. Come on, go ahead and stop. There you go. Okay. Friendos, you guys coming? Enemy power up there we go. Enemy okay. Power up so, we now have our enemies way out there. Like, significantly out of LRM range. We could maybe take some PPC pot shots on the way in, but I'd really like to let our friends pull out ahead of us. But our friends don't seem interested. Like, here comes the grizzly. <laughs> and I think that's the nav point. So yeah, it's just the grizzly. Okay. Here we are. We can't actually... Oh, there we can target them. Okay, I'm going to take a, p a couple PPC pot shots on the way out. I really don't expect these to hit. But maybe they do. There we go. A few more pot shots. We'll see. With any luck. I would very much like to have the LRMs selected right now. Ooh, we actually hit. Okay. Let's take out that victor if we can from here. We've done significant, substantial damage. But we are taking some damage in return. And I'm not a fan of that. Ow. See, right again. Right there. Right again. All those critical hits in one go. And now all we can do is plink away with our small pulse laser. Get out of here, you victor. Nice. Okay. Well, we can plink away with this small pulse laser again. Come on. Please don't. Okay. This guy is uh, pretty resilient to our small lasers. I'm going to go ahead and drop some heat here. There we go. Okay. Is that the end of the mission? Okay, we destroyed all enemy mechs. All we gotta do is go back to the dropship. Excellent. So, with regards to our critical issue, I need to take a look at this config, I guess, because I'm not certain why in a single crit we're consistently losing both arms and both torsos. That's a big issue, and one we need to address. 
because with everything spread out over those torsos, normally in Battletech games that's a good idea. But is that not the case in MechWarrior 2? Because we're taking a single critical, and then I think we're getting an ammo explosion, which is then taking out the rest of our torso and arms. And then we end up with this situation where all we've got is our small pulse lasers, which, granted our small pulse lasers, they do some work. But I really think that we could be doing a whole lot better if we weren't taking these constant criticals. So once we get back, let's take a quick look at this config and see what's going on with that. If I can figure anything out. In this case, it looks like both both torsos with machine gun ammo. It would appear that both of those had a machine gun ammo explosion. Our LRM-20 did not explode, but that was in one of our arms, or both of our arms. So our LRM-20s were destroyed, but we didn't lose the ammo. So I'm pretty sure it's machine gun ammo explosions, which is weird, but... Mission success. Yeah, we need to take a quick look at that once we get out of here. Okay, so let's look at the aftermath here. And let's see... What do we got? Are we considered battle-tested now? Maybe. Maybe we are. Well, we have to relink up the dropship to the jump ship, apparently. So I guess we're not on the dropship. We're on the jump ship for the intermission screen. Are we going to jump? No, we're just docking. Okay. So we've successfully defended our battle or our dropship against the enemy mechs and battle armor while our comrades sought information. They returned empty-handed, discovering only that General Tengwan is in transit to a secured base. Okay, so it just says en route to transport. Lovely. <laughs> so what's our aftermath here? In 2766, Takiro Kurita, then leader of the Draconis Combine, caused the Star League to be disbanded and Alexander Kerensky to be deposed as its leader. As we return to take back our rightful place as the leaders of the Inner Sphere, we will take pleasure in crushing the Draconis Combine, our most ancient enemy. Their theft of our founder's genetic material proves their disdain for the clan way. We shall show no mercy in finding the perpetrators of this atrocity and slaughtering them with the graceful ferocity of the Ghost Bear. We are restrained in our attacks on the Draconis Combine by the truce that prevents us from invading the Inner Sphere. In 3052, Ilkhan Ulrich Kerensky arranged for the Battle of Terra to be fought on Tukayad, a proxy planet. The defending forces representing the successor, successor states were the Com Guards. The agreement... Oh, actually, the Com Guards are the military branch of Comstar. For the record. The agreement held that if the clans, represented by the six clans who had breached the Inner Sphere, were to take their twelve objectives on Takayad, Terra would be ours. If the Com Guards were successful in defending the planet, the clans would not press their line of advance towards Terra for fifteen years. This battle ended in a shameful defeat for the clans. Only Clan Wolf took both of its objectives, and only Clans Ghost Bear and Jade Falcon took one of its objectives. The clans forfeited their right to continue their holy mission to take back Terra. If the Draconis Combine is responsible for the theft of the legacy of Seng and Jurgensen, the truce of Tukayad holds us back from exacting vengeance. When we have proof, we must decide whether the truce will bind us after an affront of such gravity. Okay, so let's head out here real quick. Actually, no, we need to go back into the mission computer, because I need to do it in here in this game. Well, in this expansion. So let's take a, this is a disable transport and destroy a mech and destroy all other enemy units. Okay. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this loadout here and try to see what's going on with our criticals. I'm thinking what's happening is we're taking a torso hit, which is then hitting our machine gun ammo, which then explodes which then hits this machine gun ammo, which explodes and knocks off both arms. That's my theory. So let's think about taking our ammo out of these and also our LRM ammo out of our arms. And let's put, let's, let's take heat sinks out of there. Heat sinks out of there. Okay, we're leaving our weapons where they are for now, although I kind of want to move our LRMs into our torsos. 
like so. Like that. And then our PPCs here is fine. I'll toss on a pair of heat sinks. A pair of heat sinks here. We have an extra critical slot in both of these locations, which is a bit awkward to be sure. In the center torso, we can throw in one LRM ammo. We don't have a critical slot in the head for the other LRM ammo, which is a bit unfortunate. But we can throw in a heat sink here to round that off. And then, actually, yeah, that's, that's how it's going to have to be. So then we would put in machine gun ammo, or hypothetically, take our heat sinks and stack our heat sinks in one torso and our ammo in the other. LRM ammo and then machine gun ammo. And then we'd need to figure out what to do with this one, with this round of machine gun ammo. Maybe we take the LRM ammo out and put that in here. Kind of like that. That way all of our ammo is stacked into here. It says we have zero tons for equipment. Oh, I see. Okay. And also, is it just me? Or did it not save the armor? I think it didn't save the armor. I think that's a big part of our reason, or a big part of our issue. Oh, okay. So this just allocates more armor in. So we can do that. And then we put it up like this. Hang on a moment. Okay, that's a little confusing. So the max armor in the right torso is 42 then. If I'm understanding this correctly. Yeah, that would appear to be the case. So 32 and 10 there. 32 and 10. So if, if we can't exceed these numbers... But well, what if we go to ferrofibrous armor? Can we exceed these numbers then? No. So what's the point in adding more armor tonnage then? And yeah, I realize we don't have the criticals for ferrofibrous. But what's the point in adding more tonnage for weapons if we can't, or rather adding more tonnage for armor if we can't add it to the locations? That's my question. So we can have 42 armor here. 42, 34, 42, 62, and 9. So yeah, my question at that point is, what is the point of adding additional armor beyond our 307 allocated if that's the max we can have? That certainly explains a lot. So then we would go ahead and delete a lot of this down to 307, like so. 34, 32, and 10, 31, and 9. Okay, and then we lost one from the head as well. So then we would have 10 tons free. Well, where would we put that, though? Because our criticals are all full, except for here. Interesting. Interesting. So, we could put it into our engine, I suppose. <laughs> nope. A 400XL would be too much weight. What if we had a standard engine? Okay. What's... So, does that free up criticals if we have a standard engine? Oh, we're on XL right now. Let's switch over to a standard engine and head over to our criticals. Yeah, okay. So, it frees up a lot of criticals to have a standard engine. So, we have half a ton. Does ammo come in half ton increments? Uh, 
I don't think it does. So we would have to do like, um, actually, it comes in quarter ton increments. Look at that. That's interesting. Or not, it doesn't work. If we were to add the weapon, it works fine. Oh, I think what we need to do is we need to select this and then add ammo. Okay, it does come in one ton increments. I don't know why. Oh, the machine gun itself is a quarter ton. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, so with that being the case, how do we fill up the extra half ton? Uh, small ER laser? Yeah, that's half a ton. I thought that might be the case. I guess we'll add that in. And we will assign that to be... Ah. I'd very much like to have that here in the center torso. Um, what if we were to move the LRM ammo out of there and put in the ER laser? And then have the LRM ammo over here on this side. Like that. So all of our machine gun ammo is over here. At this point, can we... It says we have case, and we can't deselect case. So I'm not sure what our critical issues were, but maybe that'll help. Oh, unassigned criticals. Uh, what don't we have? Heat sinks. Okay. Well, I'll assign some heat sinks. Oh, and now we're short of critical. Oh, we can put it on the... We can put it on the legs. That's actually kind of better. Um, I would kind of like to have... I kind of like to have this heat sink on this leg, just to be safe. Not have everything in the same place. So user variant number two here, as opposed to user variant number one, is... Yeah, so user variant number one, it just ignored all of that extra armor that I put on because I didn't understand how that system worked. So, I mean, we're still going to have about the same amount of armor, but we have a few extra criticals. So I'm going to go ahead and delete user variant number one, and we'll use user variant number two. However, this mission will be something for the next episode. See you all next time.